Hello all, this video is on testing AT commands with HM10 BLE 4.0 module. This is original HM10 module. On PCB you can see the printing HM10 and below that you can see two crystals. And the IC used is CC2541 Texas IC, single on chip IC. And this has got a microcontroller for the uh, BLE device, Bluetooth low energy device. At the bottom you can see a 3.3 volt regulator as this device is 3.3 volt level device. On the back side it is printed Bluetooth 4.0 and you can see the pins VCC, ground, TX, RX. Apart from that you can see state and BRK pins. This is a clone module which is uh, widely available in the market. This is actually BT05 module and uh, not with HM10 firmware. In future videos we will check this module also. In this uh, video, we will check the original HM10 module. In uh, clone module also, you can see the RX, TX and uh, uh, VCC ground pins. As compared to the clone module, the original module is slightly longer in size and has got two crystals. As such, the HM10 uh, module is uh, soldered on a baseboard so that you can provide 5 volt supply. At the bottom you can uh, see a 3.3 volt regulator. We need a USB to TTL device like this uh, built on CP2102 to test the AT commands of this module. This device has got uh, 5 volt ground RX TX and then 3.3 volt. We will be giving 5 volt uh, supply to HM10 module as on board there is 3.3 volt regulator. First we will connect the 5 volt supply to VCC of HM10. The RX of uh, USB to TTL module will go directly to TX of HM10. But the RX point of HM10 needs a level shifter as the device is 3.3 volt uh, level. The, at the RX point you need a level shifter like this. We will be using a simple level shifter of two resistors. 1k in series and 2k to, to ground this is a very simple level shifter at the usb to ttl uh, tx pin we will be connecting one end of the 1k resistor and to the rx of hm10 the junction of 1k and 2k2 resistor will go 2k2 is connected to ground other end of 2k2 this is a very simple level shifter which converts 5 volt TTL to 3.3 volt. Now let us uh, connect the ground pin to ground of uh, breadboard where the other end of 2K2 is connected. And we will connect the ground pin of HM10 also here. The TX pin of uh, USB to TTL goes to one end of 1K resistor and the RX of HM10 goes to the junction of the 1K and 2K2 resistors. So the connection is uh, simple, 5 volt to VCC, ground to ground, RX to TX and TX of USB to TTL to RX through level shifter. Now plug in the USB to TTL to PC, you can see the LED blinking on the HM10. Uh, find and millisecond on, find and millisecond off. So this is looking for a pair. Now open the device manager on your PC and note down the COM port allotted to USB to TTL module. You should have installed CP2102 driver. Now open the PuTTY terminal and then select the COM port allotted. Now the PuTTY terminal is open. Now if you type the AT command you get error. This is because HM10 expects uh, a full AT command and uh, no carriage return or line feed is required. So it is not waiting to for you to complete the AT command, you get a error. So there is no line mode it putty. We will be using cool term. This is a very nice uh, terminal. Open cool term after installing this and then open the options and select serial port. Select the COM port and baud rate as 9600 and 8 and 1. Under terminal there are two modes raw mode and line mode select the line mode this is not available in putty this is available only in cool term select the line mode 
so this carriage return and line feed these are all not uh, essential click on ok now click on connect so at the bottom you can see the line mode where you can type at commands before that we can uh, change the size of the text from the file preferences here you can change the color of the text and then the size of the font let us make it 20 so that you can see the at commands clearly now click on connect at the bottom in the line mode you can type in at the hm10 module will respond with the ok the next command is at plus addr and a question mark for query we use a question mark now the module returns the mac address of the module for a version at plus verr and a question mark it returns the software version as 6.08 in a later video we will see how to upgrade it to know the name at plus name and then a question mark we use a question mark for a query it returns as hm soft which is the default name of the hm10 and at plus pass and a question mark returns the pin that is a password to pair that is six zeros that is the default password and then to know the role at plus role and a question mark by default it is slave for slave it is zero it is also called peripheral for master you can make it as at plus role and then one it will make uh, the mo mo mode as master in master mode name of the uh, hm10 is not uh, displayed you can uh, verify from the android mobile uh, from settings search for the bluetooth device you can see the name of the bluetooth module as hm soft this is displayed only when the role is zero when role is one you will not see the uh, name now set it back the, to role 0 now let us change the name at plus name followed by uh, the name you want suppose you want to change it as hm10 at plus name and then hm10 and to change the password at plus pass 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we are not using equal to operator here uh, straight away you give the value for query we use a question mark for uh, uh, assignment directly value now at plus type you make it as two so in this mode you need a pin to pair otherwise by default you do not need a pin now give a reset at plus reset and then verify the name we have changed and then the password we have changed by giving a queries uh, operator now from uh, android mobile we will be using a ble terminal application to connect with the hm10 open the ble terminal and then scan devices you can see the hm10 uh, name touch on that and then uh, provide the uh, password that is one two three four five six we have changed the password to one two three four five six provide it and then touch on ok now the device is paired now notice the led blinking when it is not paired it will blink uh, 500 millisecond and off for 500 millisecond when it is connected the led will be permanently on and you get the ok plus uh, connected conn on the terminal now from mobile you can type in characters and then touch on send ascii you will get that uh, uh, string on the uh, cool term terminal and from the terminal if you type some characters you can uh, see that uh, string on the ble terminal so this is two way communication later in uh, later videos we will uh, test how to send uh, uh, sensor data between two modules now let us uh, disconnect the connection from android mobile the led starts blinking when disconnected and you get ok plus lost in the terminal this type of notifications ot plus conn and ok plus lost is done by this at plus noti command by default it is one and if you do not want notification make it as at plus nota zero this is a notification at command and then uh, 
let us test the baud rate 80 plus ba ud question mark will return 0 0 means 9600 which is the default baud rate of this module uh, these are the other uh, parameters to change the baud rate suppose you want 80 plus uh, uh, baud 1 means the baud rate will change to 9200 these are the other list of parameters for changing the baud rate uh, we do not use uh, uh, equal to operator straight away value only 80 plus radd and a question mark will it's a query for the last connected device address we have connected to android mobile this is the mac address of the android mobile 80 plus radd and a question mark next command is 80 plus powe and a question mark that is a module power setting by default it is uh, uh, 2 that is 0 dbm suppose you want to increase the range you can make it as 3 that is 6 dbm but the, it will consume more power suppose you make it as uh, 0 it will become minus 23 dbm the range will become very less and the power will consumption will be very less there is also a command 80 plus pwrm which is the setting for module sleep type by default it is 1 which is no auto sleep and if you want to make it as uh, auto sleep you make it as 0 there is also a command 80 plus sleep which will put the module to sleep condition to wake it up send 80 or a long string to wake it up so apart from the mac address there is uuid uh, 80 plus uuid and a question mark will return the hex value and 80 plus char will return the characteristics uh, value this is all important while using uh, while testing the uh, bluetooth low energy ble and then ibcon ibcon is available only in hm10 original and it is not available in uh, clone module in later videos we will be checking the ble and uh, ibcon and uh, apart from 80 plus reset there is uh, another command 80 plus renew which will make the uh, setting to factory default all settings will be lost and uh, it will return back to factory default 80 plus renew you give the command and you check up the name 80 plus name and a question mark will return the default name which is hm soft and 80 plus pass question mark will return the default password which is uh, six zeros thank you for watching